today. I mean, it's just... That's crazy. I'm here at uh, Nirwana Bali with uh, Masi. Masi, tell me a little bit about this place and tell me what the benefit of doing the program, the Ohio State program did for you. Uh, Nirwana Bali is a signature Greg Norman golf course designed in 1994, opened for play in 97. Uh, we've been managed and consulted by IMG from Singapore for 20 years. Um, I've been here one year as superintendent and we're looking at a, up, at a full renovation hopefully within the next six months. Uh, 14 years ago I had the pleasure of doing the Ohio State program and met a lot of great people and uh, Mike's been good to me and helping me find work for the last couple of years and I always uh, appreciate the Ohio program and what it did for me and I encourage young guys. You know I went to the States at 22 and, and loved it and got the exposure and 14 years later, after being in the States for a couple of years, Australia, uh, Wimbledon, uh, Cyprus, I've been a time here in the Valley in Indonesia, and it's an uh, incredible place. We manage 130 staff on the GCM, and yeah, it's uh, I have a lot to be grateful for, and OSU all the way, go Bucks. Oh, go Bucks, but I mean, for the young guy, there's hope for a young lad coming out of a small course and, uh, and, and doing this sort of thing, is there? I mean, you know, those guys think they'll never get to this, Moss. For sure, yeah. You know, I'm from a small town, West Cork in uh, Ireland. And, you know, if you told me 15 years ago that I'd be in, uh, in Bali running a, a Greg Norman signature course, I would have uh, I just said no way, you know. But it's uh, going to the States, you know, you, you, if, you're, if you're not afraid to do hard work and get stuck in, it's... Uh, Opportunities are amazing for anybody from any country, any walk of life. But you've got to be willing to put the hours in and, and do the time and um, you, you, work with you, Mike and the Ohio program and get those placements. And it's just incredible to travel and meet the people and new cultures. It's an incredible experience. But you've you've put the hours in, though. You put the hard hours in. I mean, they don't realize that putting in the hours is what got you this. The general managers here see what you did in the states, didn't they? Yeah, you know, um, when I got this job, my my GM said, oh, you're, you're so well traveled and that exposure. Obviously in the States, we have the best courses. Right. Um, you know, after being in the States, I got to go to uh, Australia through the Ohio program, Yeah. Uh, through contacts with Mike. And uh, I've met my last three jobs. I, it's called pretty much come out of the Ohio program from being in uh, Cyprus to Barbados in the West Indies for five years and now here in Bali after one year. And, so yeah, the, the model of the program, you were up north and you moved down south, that really works, doesn't it? Yeah, you were, I, you did, cool uh, season. I did six, six months in cool season in Long Island, New York, and then I went to South Carolina to Harbor Town. Yeah. And, um, Bermuda grass. Bermuda grass, overseas, yeah. wall to wall. Uh, we had a tournament and I got to go to a, another Pete Dye, real private exclusive course in South Carolina for another year. And right. Incredible experience and opportunity. and. Yeah, Bali is, is pretty good, great experience, yeah. huge crew to manage, but... A um, lot of management experience, and I mean, yeah. you know, it just, it just, uh, the network, talk to me about the network you have now, it's massive, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I, um, I, I Barbados was tough, it was my first Supers job, a tough position, at a nice Ron Kirby design, I got to do a, a cricket stadium and do a 2020 World Cup, which... Uh, was a really cool experience yeah. but the uh, Caribbean was tough but yeah. I wouldn't change it for the world here now we're up in another level we're at a five-star resort um, high expectations you know we, we're gonna spend probably anywhere between five and eight million on this rebuild and just take it to the next level how uh, good is that experience for you then growing experience construction yeah incredible uh, yeah. we're gonna hopefully like I said in six months we're yeah. gonna do the um, full reno we're just waiting for it to the final details and <laughs> It'll be good to work with the Norman Group and um, IMG and yeah, get this thing grown in and yeah. who knows what the future holds. I just get a lot of young guys that just don't don't see themselves in your shoes. I mean, and they don't believe it, but that, that hard graft, working the hours first up in Long Island with Bill Bodemer, working the hours down south, it just opens so many doors for you, doesn't it? All Think of all the guys you were with, Mark Tupling, all those guys that you network with over the years. Yeah, I mean, I look at my uh, my friends from even from Harbortown alone, South Carolina. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. in everywhere in Mexico, in Dubai, in Australia, Doha. in the States. There, it's just incredible, and we yeah. all we all keep in touch. And you yeah. know, we go to the golf shows in America, and we all meet up with each other, and it's fun. You know, it's all started out of the program. The guys, tell you, yeah, it yeah. all comes back to Ohio. You know, I went to Ohio in 1990, 2000. You know, yeah. just incredible experience for me. And, yeah. uh, 
yeah it's just it's pretty unique here in Bali it's a nice experience Hindu uh, people very calm very similar to the West Indies just culture is a little bit different but similar the weather is identical um, it's a long way from Ireland let me tell you but it's uh, <laughs> it's awesome and really really I would encourage any young guy to get on the Ohio program and it opens so many doors and contacts for the future and I've been doing this now 15 16 15 years, and years. It's, yeah, like I said, we spoke earlier about when we first met in 1998 in the K-Club in Ireland and it's just, there's a lot of travel, a lot of, travel. A lot of golf courses, yeah. a lot of grass cuts you've, since then. But you've got to be willing to travel to do this, don't you? Yeah, got to be willing to travel and um, got to be willing to open to new yeah. uh, cultures. You know, people here are very different to what I was used to growing up, but, right. you know, from being in Cyprus, being in the West Indies, I learned a lot of different mentalities, right. how to deal with people. Um, the cricket exposure in Barbados with World Cups and football and concerts and all adds up together all to uh, one um, <coughs> good, you know, but incredible you got, experience. Where you, you got that confidence though in the States? I mean, that confidence in going out in the world, like, really yeah, grew I went with to the you. States at 21, 22, and, and my boss in New York was very hands-on, very encouraged us to get stuck in, and we right. worked seven days a week right. uh, for a, lo a long, long summer, but it was right. incredible. I, I took a lot away from it, and... Um, Got to do a senior tour event up there, got to do a couple of US tour events in the States, done tournaments in Australia, uh, I've been to Sawgrass volunteering, through contacts again yeah. from Ohio State, yeah. done a couple of Wimbledons, and yeah, yeah it's uh, it's incredible <laughs> opportunity. Well really, listen, really cool. we really appreciate your time and being a good ambassador for Ohio State out there, and a lot of the young guys listen to this, I'm sure it'll give them some confidence, you know, we really appreciate it, Moss. Yeah, no problem, Mike. All, All right. the best. Thank you very much.